Hello everyone and welcome to Tonic TV at Tonic HQ and I'm here with Alison Whelan, there she is, hello. and Daniel's here filming as well, he's there. Um, hello everyone, welcome. If it's your first time joining us on Tonic TV, it's your roundup of the week and we've got exclusive demos, inspiration, I tell you a little bit about the deals that are on offer uh, on the store this weekend. So loads and loads of cool stuff. So we've got a jam-packed show uh, and we're going to go through, to begin with, the awesome deals that are on the store this weekend. So these are UK only, as in the USA, you've got the massive spring clean sale going on with, you know, clearance items, discounts never seen before, I think, over there. All right. So well worth checking those out. Uh, it's That sale is running on until Monday. All right. So you've got, uh, yeah, only about, well, if we're Sunday today, you've got tomorrow, and then I think it's closing on Tuesday evening. So yeah, grab those bundles while you can. So yeah, but in the UK, you're not left out. We have got a drop bundle and glacier bundles for you. Um, so really an embellishment special, and I'm gonna go through some of those bundles with you now. So first up, we're gonna go for uh, the vintage drop bundle. So if you haven't seen our vintage drops before, it's a matte classic effect, um, yeah, for creating a, I guess a more subdued color. Mm. Uh, uh, color palette to to them. Man, they are quite vibrant, those colors. They are. Yeah, this is the rainbow selection of them. So, yeah, together, say next next door to each other, but you can pull each of them out to match whatever project you're doing or put them together as well to create some really nice nice shades here. Like, look at the, look at the red and yellow. That's really nice to, to go Lovely. together. So, yeah, these are available, the vintage drops, 50% off this bundle. So, a great deal would usually retail for £20.94, um, available for you at £8.38 for all those six. All right. So, that's your first bundle. Next up, we have got a crystal drop bundle. So, here we are. Uh, this is the vintage selection uh, of crystal drops. Um, and these, if you haven't seen crystal drops, so yeah, maybe we start a bit too early there with it. If you haven't seen Nouveau drops before, where have you been? All right, let's start that way. But uh, they are um, embellishments, liquid embellishments that you can say pull away uh, and put on the thing and you create these awesome little jewels. Um, Self-leveling drops. Self-leveling drops, that's the phrase. So you create these awesome self-leveling drops. You've probably seen them before, maybe thought, how do they do that? Well, they're probably doing them with Nouveau Crystal Drops, okay? Um, so yeah, this range, you've got, yeah, classic uh, color palette, classic colors. You've got, yeah, your green there, blue, got gold. They've got quite a nice luster on that, a uh, nice mint sort of colors. They've all got really pretty names, which I'm butchering. They're a little bit colors to they, me. They are jewelry, yeah, they are jewelry colors, aren't they? Yeah, they are really nice with, yeah, when organic kind of colors uh, to them. So these are crystal drop bundle uh, would usually this set, uh, if it was bought individually, would usually be £16.50. Uh, it's 50% off and available for £8.25. So yeah, that's the vintage selection for you. Um, as you're about to see, you're probably guessing by now, we've got lots of different types of drops. So they all come under the Nouveau Drop collection, but they've each got sort of their individual sort of USP, their... their a cool little feature. So next is the glitter drops, all right, and they do is what you'd expect. They're infused with glitter and they create really dazzling uh, drops and embellishments there. So these glitter drops, you've got Union uh, Unicorn Parade and they are, yeah, they have bright colors again, just star spacey colors. Uh, if you want to do that, really, really fun, fun set. Um, yep, six in there again and they are available for £7.43 down from £16.50. So an awesome deal on the glitter drops. And the final bundle uh, of drops uh, before we go on to the glacier base are the jewel drops. Now these are the jewel drops and they give their selling point is they've got a, a translucent finish to them. So some of the light goes through uh, and create yeah, a really natural um, like gentle little raindrops. Gentle, drops. yeah, That's you're right. Gentle, subtle effect. You often see people using them to do create sort of water beads and things like mm. that with floral designs on there. Uh, and this is a great, all of these are great starter packs if you've, if you've never had Nouveau Drops. Just if you've maybe had just Crystal Drops and you think, oh, I'll try Vintage Drops now. And this, this is a great place to start with them. Dual Drops, uh, you've got a five in total on there, 50% off. Would usually be £13.75, but you're going to get that for £6.88. So, yeah, the really, really cool set. And that is your jewel drop selection. Now, next up, we have got our Nouveau Glacier Paste, which is a recent release. And uh, if you haven't seen it before, it creates this wonderful mica-infused smooth effect on your projects. Uh, beautiful colours uh, in there. And it's just, it's a medium. So, oh, I can open it up. 
and you can maybe see the medium a little bit closer there. But there's an awesome blog post uh, done by Michelle Short that's available on the Tonic Craft Room, which is the, the hub on the Tonic website with all the inspiration. Uh, and you can find uh, everything you need to know about Glacier Pace really. It's an awesome post and, and well worth checking out. You've got swatches, all that kind of stuff. We can find out more. But this set itself, this is the ColourPop uh, bundle and it's 65% off uh, down to just £8.39 for these. So yeah, if you haven't tried them yet, great place to start and then we've got our final bundle which again is glacier paste but in these cool classic colors um so you've got a lovely frosty blue there a silver uh and sort of a greeny gold uh as well so golden era then it is is that color uh and yeah they're available at 65 percent off too uh down to just six pounds 29 from 17 pounds 97 so that's a glacier paste and yeah well worth checking out that blog post by Michelle Short. So those are all your bundles uh, available. They would have gone live at the start of the week, um, at the start of the weekend, so about Friday, but they're running all the way until Monday evening. So if you do like the look of any of these, get on the website today and grab them for yourself. Next up, we've got a demo from uh, my lovely assistant, Alison Whelan. Uh, she's in the studio and she's gonna be doing a demo <laughs> using the Belgravia bag. So uh, we're gonna go through that. Uh, by the way, this Belgravia bag is a special Tonic TV offer and it's 30% off on the store and that'll run all the way until next Sunday's Tonic TV. So if you like the look of this bag and it's a classic, Tonic design these bags and done in a completely new way. So um, yeah, worth checking that out. So Alison, take it away. Off we go. So if you haven't seen the Belgravia bag, this is your little Belgravia bag. So it's a delightful little bag, plenty of room inside for your goodies. A little scarf would fit in there, I reckon. Always room for sweets. As you know, everything has got to be weighed up on what sweets you can get in a bag. Um, but plenty of room for anything else as well. So that's what I'm going to show you how to make today. So how does the die come to you? Well, this is your actual die set. So as you can see, it's quite a big die set. So you're getting a little bit of a bargain there. And these are your dies. So your main die shape is here. So you cut two of those to make your main bag. I'll show you exactly how to do it now. And then you have two different panels for your front and back, two side panels, and you have four different panels that you can pop on the top. So you either have two pattern panels, which correspond with the base panels, or you have a thank you and a for you. So there's lots and lots of, of little extras in here. How many dies are there? Is this... The dies are, I'm going to cheat, is 13 dies. 13 dies you get. Into. And, you know, they're quite big dies as well. They are big well. dies, they are. And it's a nice easy bag because it is only two cuts and your bag is made, plus a handle. So if you're making them for your scout, well, maybe maybe not scouts, <laughs> but I think girls do your go to scouts your, now. Yeah, your, brownies. your brownies, your guides, your... A anything. Anything, that... your church, anything that you're involved in. These would make beautiful little gift bags. People are starting now for Christmas. They do, and, and you can do them as some of the things that we've done, whether it's been, well, Alison, more than anything, I've seen it like a work, <laughs> at, at these shows in workshops that you can create wonderful little packs where they can make them themselves. Yes. And even someone like myself or Dan can make them. So yeah. it's a, it literally, you know, it, it, it we can do it. So that was our first. Out that was the, the first bench, one. It? That was down in the <laughs> Bridget Bridget show. show. So yeah, um, so yeah, they, they and they classic product which I always say it's just they make it difficult easy and that's if you wanted to create a bag like this you'd be forever measuring and doing all this stuff to try and do it without no the measuring. dice sets. with these you got to say Ali says two cuts there you go and so your bag's really cool. there easy right I'm going to work on the white part of my mat here the reason being is because I cut navy and it's going to be easier to be seen so we have two two of the die cuts so fold all your score lines first. This is 240 GSM. Whenever I start, I always do all my folding first. It's much easier to do it when you can fold it flat on the desk to when you're balancing midair because you've forgotten to do a fold line. So your top just folds in a little bit. You don't need a definite fold, just a little tweak of it. And then your little tabs on the side. So that is all my folds done. So now you're gonna glue them 
I've got wrong side is facing me now. So we're just going to glue the base one on top of the other. So a little bit of trusty glue, as always. There we go. So just around the edges. Don't go too close to the edge because obviously it will spread just a little bit. So when you're doing this, pop, I'm going to go on to the white again. Pop your, your die cut down. Bring up your side panel and you can make sure that it's pushed up against that. And do the same all around. Then turn it over and I can see that my panels are all lined up. Nothing is going over any fold lines and it's all lovely and flat. So while my bag is flat, I'm going to decorate it. This is the easiest time to decorate your bag. So I've cut, let me show you from the dies exactly where I've got these from. So we've got your outer panel, which I've cut in the white and the red. Then I've used the inner, oops, bit sticky on there. I've used this inner panel then to cut my pattern into the red. And I've done that twice for a back and a front. So we'll glue those together first. Move that out of the way. I'm going to try and be a tidy crafter today. I'm not sure how long it'll last, but we'll give it a go. Uh, as I said earlier, the Belgravia set, uh, this is available as a special Tonic TV offer. It's available for 30% off for the week, so it's going to be available until uh, the next week's show uh, on Tonic TV. They're quite formal designs on here, I think, quite classic designs. And if that's not your taste, then that's all you need to do is use the outer die and cut a piece of pattern paper that you really like. And I think the, the shape of the bag and the style of the bag will be perfect for anything. That's it. People we've seen in the past with our different sort of bag sets that we've done is using those... Oh, the Kensington. Yeah. That's it. U using classic um, just card and pattern types to make totally different looking and effect yeah. and, and cool things. Like it could be someone's doctor's bag or something like that or, or bowling bits like bag. that bowling bag bowling got all bag this, like, bowls bag like they have people have two bowls and yeah loads of um you know you create yeah. and just use your imagination with that yeah our accessories and and panels and things like that are there to for you to you know do them quick and things like that but there's lots of other ways you can go like the thing i like about this i like that the overhandle thing the little sort of button that's got on the yeah on the the handle um again really cute it just looks yeah meaty you know it looks really good i but i think this is on par with the kens in town yeah 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 there we are so i'm lining making sure my bottom die is lined up with the base of the bag and also the top here and i'm looking at the side panels just to make sure that we're all nice and even. So flip it around and I've glued one together previously because it can be a bit painful watching glue dry. There we are. So that one goes on the opposite side. And then I've also done my side panels the same. So we've cut the side panels. Again, you've got your plain shape and then you add in whichever of the pattern dies that you choose. So that's the one I've used. So I just, I do think it's a really cool bag. This was designed, I'm trying to think who designed this bag. I'm I sure can't think. I'm not sure if it was Toby. It might have been, he's good with his I want to say Toby. Yeah. Because I know sometimes you like to know design things. Yeah, they're all upstairs. You know, they've all got their their sort of style that they love and, and the things that they... It was Toby because he did the Moena bag to go with it. I don't know whether that's still available on the website. Um, it might look. be. If the Belgravia is and they release at the same time, they may be on there too. Um, and we'll maybe show you some that in another time. Check that one out. Yeah, cool bag too. I love the Moena. It's like a lovely beach bag. But again, this one, it's got a wider neck to it. So you could put bigger gifts into that one. So it depends on what you like to send. 
So there's my little side panel. I've got a tiny bit of glue there, so we'll scrape that off and pop these in place. There we go. So again, I'm looking at my crease line here just for my, my positioning and also my side lines. I think it's good to know where what I'm looking at when I'm positioning things because he knows you know them what you've got to look out for and that that's my other panel on the side so you can see how quick these are to put together once you've done your your cutting they're really really fast yeah like, like I said yeah do it while it's flat yes yeah, otherwise you're just going to be a just making it difficult for yourself for no reason. Oh, don't you make might as well just do it. <laughs> don't make it hard for yourself. It's not worth it. So I thought today we'd go with a nice little thank you because people are doing things for us at the moment. People are very kind. And sometimes you want to give a little gift back. So that's where I'm going from this. So what have we what have we used? I've used the outer edge again. So we've got a plain outer edge that I've cut all three colours. And you get a shape like this. Then I have used the thank you die, which imagine that's your cat if it's in the centre. And then we get the both little thank yous. So why have I cut a navy and a gold? I shall tell you. When I put the gold on the white, even though it's a little bit blingy, it looks a little bit flat. And I wanted to give it a little bit more. So when I put the navy behind, it gave it a little bit of a shadow and a little bit more of a pop. And you know I often drop shadow um, sentiments that we have. So how do I do this one? Because it's obviously cut into a specific shape. So I've cut it exactly the same. I've put the wording into the centre. A little bit of glue on it all and take a tiny bit off. Right, let me move that out of the way so you can hopefully look down. So what I am looking for now, I'm moving this just across slightly so that I can see a little bit of navy to the side of my thank you. So my navy is to the right, just to give that little bit of a shadow. The thing is to remember is when you're doing these, make sure your shadow goes both the same way. So I've got a little bit of navy coming around the top now. So just take your, your little pair of scissors and just trim the excess off. And it doesn't matter if it's not very neat because you're not going to see the navy. As long as you don't cut your gold, you're going to be absolutely fine. And then we're going to pop that onto the white. And I think it gives it a little bit more of a pop. There we go, tiny bits of glue all round. There we are, all done. And just glue those together. That's it, just making sure they all line up and then press them down. I couldn't see it on the back of the white. There we are. So we leave them glue a little bit and I'll stick the other one on first. So, here's my first panel done. Make sure you glue all around it because you don't want it popping off as it's moving. Again, I'm looking at the fold line, making sure I've lined it up right. I've got a little bit of raw glue by there. Little, little damp baby wipe, we'll sort that out later. And then the second one, we're going to pop along the bottom. Saying that you know they're nice, but you've got plenty of room inside. And then if you want to put it in your sweets or your or bits and pieces, but yeah, you can leave them on a doorstep and say thank you to someone. Maybe exactly. like a little bit. It's a, yeah, cute little bag for you to use your imagination with. I mean, maybe you've got somebody who's doing your shopping for you. Yeah. There we are. So that is your bag all done and dusted. So glue in it now. 
you glue the panels i'm hoping you're going to be able to see this i'll try and i pop a little bit of card i'm going to grab a little piece from behind me oh, you can't see just so you can see Woo -hoo. there we are that was a bit dangerous wasn't <laughs> don't do that at all. please He's just don't gone. do that at all. <laughs> what i want to do here i'm going to pop that up to the edge and i'm hoping you can see it can we see the angle on the top dan i'm going to ask you what i want to see is the i've lined hang on there can we see that yeah, yeah. so i've lined up just to the corner of my bag so if you're having trouble lining these up just take a straight line up to the corner and you've got a little piece here that is just your pattern for your bag so that's where I'm gluing. It's very hard to show a gluing point when it's both the same colour. So as I'm gluing, right, I don't know whether you can see or not, but I'm going to show anyway. There we are. I've pressed it down and we're right up to that corner. Do the same on the other side. Because it's easier to get one side done first. Oh, that's why it's easier to get one side done first. So we go right to the corner again and then press it down. And we'll do the same here. Seeing as this one's not very happy about gluing. There we are, that's one side done. And it's almost like a little sandwich box now, I think. You could make that. You could bring that up and make it into a little box with a lid if you wanted yeah. to. Yeah, that's, that's another good. option. I don't think I've ever seen that. You just invented it there. <laughs> that just came to me as I saw it there. <laughs> <laughs> as you're making your projects, different ideas come to you. Right, so we're going to glue these exactly the same up to the corner. So as I'm looking at it, right up to there and the same on the other side right up to the corner and that is your bag made and that is really sturdy you know I can tamp that and that's that's really sturdy so handle now there's your handle got a lovely little shiny handle this time take a bone folder or scissors or a pencil just run it gently along the edge just to get a nice curve in your bag and a little bit of glue and you've even got your marker point where you're going to glue and it's that circle there it's one of those unique that that is the die for the handle is one of those unique sets that you probably wouldn't find outside of this no, set. So if you no. want to use it for, well, whatever, you know, it's got lots of different ways you could use that. Like you could put petals on it and it could be a, a flower or something like that. You could. Bouncy one. So there's like, it's one of those, like you need a set like this sometimes and you get extra dies in there that you think, oh, you'd never be able to get that in a pack on its own. So it's, uh, yeah, it's a cool little set to die that. There we are. So there's the side handle done whoops straighten it up you could put brads through this and you'd have a movable handle then which is another good one or you maybe you want your handle to be halfway down your bag you don't want it at the top because it's going to interfere with you filling mm. your bag so pop your handle wherever you feel it suits your contents really now the little tab at the top, they are two semicircles and they just slide into each other. Give them a little wiggle and be gentle because remember they are just card. They will sit one inside the other and that is your bag finished. So a really easy bag. If you want to do a bit of paper piecing, um, I've done a little bit of paper piecing on the cover here but I've picked out a different part of the pattern. So it depends what bit jumps out to you at the time. Lots of possibilities with them. And hopefully you've enjoyed this demonstration and will enjoy making the bags. Yeah, brilliant. Thank Thanks, you. Al. Awesome. Um, yeah, so that set, the Belgravia set, 
that's available on the store for the week the next seven days at 30 percent off so you can find that um, and lovely time and you can watch this back then once you've got it and you can see how, the, how to make the bag quickly uh, with Alison. Right next up in the show we have got the awesome BB Cameron uh, with us and she is going to be well not with us here but she's in her house uh, and she's going to be showing us the Tonic Family which launched this week on our online store. Uh, the Tonic Family die set the dressable characters you create loads of unique figures and yeah, and sort of different identities to the character. It's really, really cute. So, Bibi, take it away and let us know a little bit more about them. Hi, everyone. This is Bibi Cameron here for Tonic Studios. I hope you are doing well and stay safe. Today, I'm going to be chatting about the Tonic family. This is a very small die collection. There is actually two die sets in this release that was um, launched on Create and Craft last month but now it's available on the Tonic Studios shops. There are two main die sets and one is called the Tonic Family Children Die Set. It includes 38 individual dies and you will have also this one here that is called the Tonic Family Adult Die Set and it includes 31 individual dies. With these die sets, you will be able to customize endless characters for your paper craft projects. So I want to show you here how to assemble these cute characters. Okay, so this is the children die set. And the first thing I'm going to do is to identify the dice I'm going to use to create my character. I'm going to use this small head, also arms, the dress, and there are two different bodies in this die set. I'm going to use this one here that has a round shape at the top. This is the gear body. I'm also going to choose the hair. I'm going to use this lips die here. And there is also eyes and accessories. So I'm going to gather together all the dies I need. And once I have the dies, I can choose then the cardstock colors I'm going to be using with these dies. I think one of the most important cardstock colors is the skin tone. I like to use this peach color for skin. I know it's very hard to get, so if you don't have this color, you can also use markers to color white cardstock. I'm going to die cut the head and the body and also the arms from this cardstock, and then I'm going to choose different papers to die cut the other parts for this character. Once I have that done, I secure the dies on those pieces of paper with washi tape and I just tie with this. I'm going to keep this very simple for this video because I have very little time to show you the whole process. So I'm just tie cutting here all the pieces in one go and there are several arm designs. I'm just going to choose one of them and I'm going to place the smaller die cuts in this container so I don't miss them, especially the lips and the eyes because those are super, super tiny. So once I have all my die cuts, I can start assembling the character. And my biggest tip here is to start assembling this by putting together the larger die cuts first. So we are going to adhere the arms to the body and then the head and then we can start adding details. I like to add the head a little bit tilted so it doesn't look so rigid, it looks more happy and I really like that. Then I add the dress and after adding the dress, I add the hair, the eyes and other details. I really think that this little girl looks better without shoes so I'm going to leave her just like that. And to add a little bit of color, I'm going to use these pan pastels, but if you don't have anything like this, you can also use eyeshadows. I'm going to use a nouveau brush just to add a hint of that color on the cheeks. And you can also apply colors in different parts or even on the dress of this little character. So I'm just doing this like that. And to finish, I'm going to embellish with some flowers. And these are small die cuts that I got left from my die cutting. You might have some small tiny flowers that you can also use to embellish these characters. And to assemble any other character, 
you need to do exactly the same, but then you will choose different hair, different dress, different shoes, and different accessories. You can also combine these characters with other ties you might have, for example, this large butterfly here. And what I'm going to do is to die cut wings for this little girl using this glitter paper so that she will become a fairy. And you can also add different hair to this fairy, different colors, the sky is the limit. And you can use hair for many different paper craft projects, boxes, cards, tags, woody bags, anything you might like. I'm going to add hair on this card here that I made using Celebration Album Maker die set. So this is a diorama card and it measures five inches by seven inches. You can add a sentiment also using any die set in your stash. I'm using here the sentiment from Hello Beautiful Floral Frame die set and I'm going to use the same sentiment for the next card. And for this card, I also use a decorative tie to die cut all over the edge. And I also die cut this oval using a stitches ties by Tonic Studios. I added double-sided adhesive in the back of this die cut shape, and I just added it over that panel. To finish, I glue the sentiment over the dress, just like that and I also embellish using gold fashion embellishments. I also use a couple of black wriststones for the eyes, but I'm still thinking what could be the best way to add eyes to these uh, die cut shapes. I really think that it has to be really tiny mini eyes. I don't have any like that on my stash, so I'm using what I have, but you can also use nubo drops. So these are two card samples and I want to show you super quick how to put together an adult. Okay, so this lady measures five inches tall and the little girl measures four inches. Both of them will fit perfectly on that standard C6 American car base or an A6 British car base. Of course, you can use them in a smaller or larger projects and you can use one character, two, three, or a group of them. So remember that when it comes to die cutting, the sky is the limit. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed these tips and see you next time. Happy crafting. Bye. Thank you, BB. A brilliant little insight into the Tonic family sets there. Um, there's a step-by-step -step, uh, with the Tonic family sets. That's available on the Tonic Craft Room, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a moment. But next up, we've got Lou Sims, who gives us another one of her awesome guides on uh, Nouveau Drops. So take it away, Lou. Hi, it's Lou from Tonic Studios, and I'm here today to talk through the different types of drops we have within the range. Now, on each of the drops, you will actually get the type of drop, so you've got Nouveau Vintage Drops, and it will also give you a brief description about what each drop can do. If it's not on the front, have a look on the side, because it will list there exactly the type of drop you've got here. So this one is Crystal Drops, but it's metallic. So if you cannot remember exactly what our drops do, that's the perfect place to look. The drops will react differently on darker materials to lighter. So if I do the antique drops, this is a matte effect. So when it dries, it will dry with a matte effect. But on the white and black card, it stands out equally. Stone drops, stone drops have like a grit within them. So and again, look the same and keep the same color, whether on the lighter card or the darker card. And then we've got our metallic. And again, the color stays true, whether again, light or dark. 
Now we've got the translucent. Now the translucent drops will pick a bit of the colour of the card below. So if we look on the white card, the drop stays quite bright. But if we look where it's on the darker card, it's actually created more of a shadow, and more of a darker effect on it. The crystal. So the glitter drops have the glitter suspended within the drop. So the whole drop will be glitter. What you will notice with the glitter drops, it looks like the actual drop has a grey, but that is the adhesive that holds all the glitter together. Once it has dried, all you'll end up seeing it will be the glitter. And now for this one, we have the traditional drop, which will give a beautiful pearlescent effect, which will work again on both light and dark card. Okay, the dream drops. Now the dream drops have an iridescent mica suspended with them and they will look differently whether on a lighter cardstock or on a darker cardstock. So we can see it still stays very iridescent there but there's a slight, you can see it picks up other colours within the darker cardstock. We've then got our gloss. and we've got our gloss drops, and they'll have a beautiful gloss finish to them. And that will still stay the same whether on lighter or darker card. And then finally, we've got the dries clear. And the dries clear, I will do a drop, they're perfect for the dew drops, and it will, as it says, dry clear. Now, the only thing that will happen here, it looks grey here, but it will dry clear, but it will pick up a little bit of the base colour underneath, similar to the translucent. That is a brief description about what all the different drops will do. However, I haven't done it, but our normal recommendation is to try the drops off your project, so you don't actually get air bubbles trapped in it, and then that destroys your project. We also recommend that you leave them to dry between 12 and 24 hours to get the full effect from your actual drops. So why not do them when you've finished your project, put your project to one side to dry safely. Thank you, Lou, uh, for that wonderful introduction uh, to Nouveau Drops. Uh, and that's it for Tonic TV this week. Uh, finally, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the Tonic Craft Room, which is our hub for all inspiration content uh, that we do at Tonic HQ. And uh, this week has been an awesome week for it. Um, as I said earlier, you've got a step-by-step -step from Bibi, uh, where she talks to you about the Tonic family uh, and how to make a wonderful card with that. We've also got, as I said, with this Glacier Paste. So for some people, this would be brand new pro uh, product they haven't seen before. Michelle Short, um, a brilliant crafter, she does a comprehensive guide on Glacier Paste. You've got swatches, all that good stuff. Uh, available on the website. Well worth checking that out uh, as a product feature. Um, yeah, we've had we've had lots going on. So um, that's it uh, for the week. If you want to find out about the craft room, just go on the Tonic Studios website, click the tab craft room, and you'll see all the posts there. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. There's that 30% off deal on the Belgravia bag, and that's going to run until next week. But until next week, thank you for watching, and we'll see you all soon. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.